Oh, uh, well, yes, uh, if I can, you know, say about that, um, I believe there were many occasions where uh, I really, you know, created a good solutions, uh, effective ones, uh, helping customers. Uh, I believe that the one that I'm the most proud of is the feature that is embedded in EPC code called uh, horizontal database scaling or uh, simply HDS, uh, which allows EPC to use more than one database, um, which is uh, really important, uh, especially for the so-called high TPS customers, where TPS means transaction per second. So we have uh, a lot of customers uh, requiring um, a really high throughput, uh, let's say the high load for in case of uh, flash sales, uh, like se selling something popular and then you have a, a sudden surge of uh, 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 users uh, coming to the website, buying something. And the usual bottleneck in the system is database. And this is not uh, specific to Elastic Path. It's uh, traditional architecture uh, everywhere in the world. So every system today that has a database, it will be, uh, it's usually based on, on one database. But uh, the thing is that also as a, uh, a part of that architecture, you have something that is called uh, failover and which means that you have uh, additional database as a backup. So in case of, uh, let's say, major disaster, you you can uh, quickly switch to, to that uh, backup database and resume the work uh, very quickly. Uh, that means also that that backup database is usually idle, dormant in, in the sense that it's uh, there is no traffic going to that one and it can be used for uh, read operations. And this is what HDS is all about, uh, uh, to uh, harness that uh, dormant database for read operations. So it, it doesn't modify anything, it just uh, reads. Uh, and that greatly improves the performance uh, of the system. Uh, moreover, uh, since uh, EPC is using uh, Aurora MySQL, and Aurora database supports uh, up to 15 uh, so-called replicas or, or reader. This could be using all those 15 databases and spread all read operations uh, to all of them, practically leaving only write operations to the main database. Uh, so the performance is, uh, the performance is really great. Uh, in our last test we had, we were able to uh, reach the Amazon's limit for the number of requests per second, which is 10,000 uh, requests. And uh, we couldn't go beyond that. Uh, and also reaching around over 400 orders per second at that time. So that was really, good achievement and I am really proud of that.